bro, I don't even have the level 90 attack to hold this weapon. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I guess, uh, I guess 99 defense is a thing. I didn't even realize how close I was to it, but, uh, cool. I guess we have a ring of life cape now. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Please. All right, so that's the focus sight done. Arguably, in my opinion, the harder of the two to get just because of the higher slate requirement. But uh, that does mean that we only have the hex crest from the dragonal strike worms left to get. So let's go farm up some slayer tasks. So I know I didn't sound super excited to get 99 defense, but that was just because I didn't realize how close I was to it. So this defense cape is really, really useful because it does give you a ring of life passage which basically allows you to teleport if your HP gets really low, which is super useful for pushing things like Araxi, which now you can teleport from. So this will definitely be a very useful cape in the future. Aquanites is supposed to be really, really good seeds and there's no harm in stocking up. So let's uh, do the Aquanites. Little bit of a slower task for us since we don't have any ranged power armor. Um, probably should go farm that out at some point, but very very nice loot jungle strike worms let's go all right so hopefully we can get a hex crest from this task no luck there on the task but uh we're still under drop rate so nothing to complain about on to the next one iron dragons are a super fast task if you have the anti-fire potion uh so you can use a staff over a wand and shield so let's do that Hey, it took us a few weeks, but we finally got it. So that's a chocolate cow, which means we now have the strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate to make the milkshake for contract claws. So that means that ancient summoning is on the table for this weekend. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to bang out some quests for that after Slayer. Unfortunately, I totally forgot that I do not have anti-fire potions because that's 69 or blur, not 65. So... Um, it's still a very chill task if you're using a wand and shields and pray, ma uh, pray magic with the bone crusher on. Um, it's pretty much AFK. You need like one or two food for the entire task. So I'm just going to be spending some nice AFK time here. But uh, it'll be a bit of a slower task for this one. And this is why we buy our Slayer VIP tickets. Because I wouldn't have been able to get this Jungle Strike Worms task otherwise. So... Please remember when you're grinding out for something to use Slayer VIP tickets. Let's go get that hex crest. Nice beautiful round number here, but level 80 Slayer gives us the option to do some nightmare creatures once we have the quest unlock, which is going to be one of our better tasks. Hey, let's go. Now we just need the black mask and we are set. That's it. a Slayer Helm unlocked pretty much. Let's go. And just to show you guys how much of a spoon I am, I only took sub 200 kills for both of these drops when they're both like a five, one in 512. So, um, yeah. Oh, I feel very dirty. <laughs> So the clan was hosting an event and I was feeling really, really good um, about, you know, my progress so far. So I was like, you know what, let's take some time out and do a KK mass. And then this happened. I guess we have a total of a thousand boss kills, which is pretty cool uh, because that means we unlock these adrenaline crystals, which will definitely make uh, going to bosses a little bit easier uh, to build up that adrenaline for sunshine when doing kills in God Wars 2 or onwards. So that's really nice. Bro, I don't even have the level 90 attack to hold this weapon. What am I supposed to do with this? Man, what is my luck today? Holy Enough of the spoon action, let's get back to the actual goal 
which is going to be unlocking Ancient Invention here. So lucky for us, we only have one quest that we need to do in order to unlock Ancient Summoning, and that is going to be another slice of ham. Quest completed. Just AFKing here while doing some editing and got the notification that our fishing rod automatic is level 10. So we shall disassemble it and level 50. Very nice. So we're now base 50s on the account, which is pretty cool to say. Um, but yeah, nice, nice even level there. And with that, we have the mystery completed and now we can actually do uh, ancient summoning. So this is going to be really, really huge for an upcoming uh, challenge that is going to be happening in two weeks. So that will be really exciting for that. Um, but Ancient Summoning is really great for skilling as well as combat. So huge unlock for us. So the last thing we, that we have to do for unlocking our Slayer Helm is we need to get a Black Mask. Unfortunately, I haven't done any of the Pirate series, so this is going to be... We're just going to be banging in some quests here. Uh, so I need to start off with Zogr Flesh Eaters for some reason uh, for Remdeal, but uh, let's get on it. Remdeal completed. And there is Cabin Fever done. So uh, that means that we've unlocked the Cave Horrors and their Elite versions, the Unspeakable Horrors. So hopefully... Um, we'll be able to go camp those for a black mask. Now they are pretty AFK. Um, I'm not quite sure which one we will be unlocking, uh, which ones we'll be fighting because, uh, one definitely is tankier than the other, but I'm not sure if one has a higher chance at dropping the black mask or not. So that is to be determined. Hey, there it is. So, took us about an hour and a half. I have to say, cave horrors are excellent loot, especially if you're going for porters. Like, these are not a bad source for ruby necklaces if you don't feel like making them. So, unfortunately, I totally forgot that you need slayer points to actually make the helmet. So, we do have to grind out a few more tasks now that we have all the pieces for the helmet. Uh, but that should be the easiest part out of this entire grind. Strike Worm's task completed. I wasn't recording for the drop, but we did manage to get an Abbey Spec Champion Scroll, which is super, super cool, because that means we can unlock the Banner Carrier for that. And this should be the Abbey Specs task. Always, like, top of my favorite mid-tier Iron Man Slayer task. They drop so many herbs and so many seeds. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that is our Necreal task, which does give us a milestone task. So big boost in points there. But now we can officially unlock our Slayer Helm. So apparently I'm able to do all of this work to get the Slayer Helm, but I can't actually record the video to make it.